the left-hander from Washington, D.C., United States of America, Robin Montgomery, to Pretty serve, set. to start Robin us off Montgomery in this the girls' singles final Play. of the 2021 U.S. Open. Fifteen love. Out. Fifteen all. One thing we know, Jill, about Robin Montgomery is that when she gets that left-handed serve going, she can be a hassle. When she beat the number one seed in the quarterfinals, she made 76% of her first serves, winning 86% of those points. I mean, when she can get that lefty serve in, and it can create so many opportunities because, especially when she's playing a right-handed player, that right-handed player is going to have to protect that backhand a little bit more so it can open up that out wide serve on the deuce side, that down the tee serve on the, on the ad side, so it can really create some opportunities. a couple extra moments the, as you mentioned the weather the wind has died down quite significantly from yesterday still you get a couple gusts of wind occasionally so that can sometimes disrupt the toss of the player that's serving but overall much nicer as far as more calm conditions today oh. chance for the mid truck 30 40 Robin Montgomery has the opportunity today to join a long list of American girls who've taken home the title here at the US Open Dimitruk looking to become just the second Belarusian to do it in the first since Vika Azarenka took the title That's great out wide serve there got a really good angle on that one I think the Jeez. key for Montgomery especially on that out wide is to Try and aim a little bit shorter in the court. You can see Dimitrek a little bit further back on the return. So that wide angle is so important. And by the way, I mentioned Dimitrek trying to pull Montgomery. off the same feat that Vika Azarenka did here at the U.S. Open. That was in 2005. Wow. 16 That's, years ago. It doesn't even feel possible. And Vika, that long ago. she's still going. I know. <laughs> <laughs> at the top of the game. Yeah, just got to the finals here last year. There's that swinger out wide again from the lefty, and Robin Montgomery of the United States Montgomery. opens with a hold in the girls' singles final at the 2021 U.S. Open. Well, always some nerves going into a final, so it's so such a good feeling to be able to get on the board right away on that service game. Yeah, I wonder if Dimitruk will use that experience like you mentioned from the Wimbledon girls doubles final to sort of calm herself in this situation yeah just I, I I mean it was doubles of course this is different than singles but it's still it's being in a grand slam final and knowing what that feels like to have to come through at a grand slam that can bring some experience she won that with Diana Schneider of Russia and Schneider and Dimitruk fell in the semifinals of the girls doubles yesterday to Reese Brantmeyer, the 16-year-old from the United States, and Elvina Kalieva, also of the U.S. On the back 
backhand side from Dimitra. You can, can already tell that she really likes to step in on that backhand and flatten it out. Moves through that ball really well. It's going to be interesting to see how Montgomery might adjust to that. Because her natural inclination as a left-hander is to swing that forehand over to the backhand That's side, right. especially high. And if Dimitruk likes to step in, she might have to change that up a little bit. Yeah, well, I think she can mix up the depth and the angle. So maybe a couple times at the forehand deep if she wants to go across and then mix in the angle. That's a good serve. And skidding through low. the court. It's been one of the stories of this year's U.S. Open, the speed of the courts. Yeah. Fast. That's a big serving from the sixth seed and a Major. hold it love for one all. One game all, first set. Yeah, all the players have been saying how much quicker the courts are this year pre from previous years. And pretty much across across the board, because a lot of times you'll get a bigger stadium that maybe is slightly slower, but all the players have been saying that they've all been playing pretty similarly, pretty quick. Oh. A nice crowd on hand here at court 12 for this girls' singles final. And coming up later today, a lot of those people are going to head inside Ash Stadium for the women's single low. final, which will be competed by two girls who are pretty much peers. I should say two <laughs> women who are peers of these young women on the court today. A pair of 17-year-olds here and an 18 and a 19-year-old in the women's final. First teenage final since 1999. got to be ins inspiring for these two youngsters to be a part. And I always love that they have the juniors here on site when they're be able to be around the pros and see them up close, see how they practice, see the difference. Because sometimes, you know, transitioning from the juniors to the pros can be uh, somewhat challenging for some players. So you do get a sense of the intensity that they bring to the practice 30, and, and what it takes to get to that next level. How closely mixed are they? They share a locker room or they have separate locker rooms, juniors and senior players? Here at the US Open, normally, normally they're in the Chase Center, but I think that this year it's different because of the pandemic. I think they've- The Chase Center's the indoor facility. The indoor here. facility, yes, thank you. Um, so I'm not quite sure if that's where they still are. They could be. I know they added a gym there for the pros as well, just to try and keep everyone a little bit more distant. Oh, that's great from the middle of the court from Montgomery. Great angle on the back 40, end. 30. One more look at the footwork. She worked on her fitness and footwork all during the pandemic. She was able to train at her home club in Maryland. Montgomery's Montgomery actually already won a pro title. Won. We'll talk about First that set. after they change ends on serve through three games in the girls' singles final. You mentioned that Montgomery already won a pro title. She did in Las Vegas, and just her fourth pro event won a, a 25K, and that's a pro event. And just being able to win matches on the pro tour is impressive. Yeah, she, I, that, I mean, that is impressive. That was back in March in 2020, and she was, felt well. like she was just getting started, getting to be able to play some pro events, and then we all know what happened to the calendar year in 2020, the pandemic hit, so everything was put on hold. And like you mentioned earlier, she was able to focus a lot on her fitness. That was something that she wanted to get better at was her quickness on the court. I think that's what a lot of the pros did as well, just in general. A lot of these players, I mean, the, the season is so long, so you don't all. really get big breaks where you have months where you can really explore and experience and work on things. And I think a lot of players took advantage of that time off to really work on their fitness, work on different aspects of their game. 30-15. Montgomery won the 
prestigious Orange Bowl at the age of 15. At the end of 2019. Orange Bowl. Turns pro at the beginning of 2020 and then everything shuts yeah. down. Yeah. <laughs> That's a beautiful pass from Dimitra. Under intense pressure from Montgomery who's 40, moving forward. 30. Yeah, Montgomery was moving towards the net too, almost expecting that short angle, but it was such a good angle. Just kept dipping as Montgomery was moving forward to the net. Game. Two all in the first set. Two games all, first set. And remember to download the U.S. Open app. You can cheer on your favorite players. There aren't many left. Pick one. We got men's and women's finals still to play. Boys and girls junior finals. Track the latest scores, stats, match highlights. Player news and more, it's available in the App Store and in the Google Play Store. It's the U.S. Open app. These two have never played before, even though they're both highly ranked in the ITF Junior rankings. They've never crossed paths in junior events. So you gotta imagine there's a little bit of a feeling out process. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm sure they've probably seen each other play before, but it's always different when you're actually going on the court, the feel of the ball, getting used to that from your opponent. And also just picking up on different patterns, um, knowing how to construct a point where it works to your advantage and exploits the opponent's weakness. from the start. 30-15. I think that's something that a lot of players are learning at a younger age now is, is that variety, throwing in that drop shot. You're seeing a lot more youngsters get that variety at an earlier age, which is great to see. Montgomery's actually known as someone who actually picked that up from a younger age than most even. Double. 30 all. She's been known to change tactics and start serving and volleying when she's not playing well in a match. It's impressed a lot of people with the way she's been able to problem solve within matches. That's yeah, that's hugely important because a lot of, you know, you're not going to play. 40, 30. Well, most matches that you're going to play, I mean, it's just a fact. You're not going to play 100% perfect every single time. So it's about being able to deal with that situation, being able to have another game plan to be able to get through some matches. Yeah, I think a great example of this comes from this year's US Open. And it was when Shelby Rogers upset Ash Barty. She had lost four times to her. Yeah. And she, playing her game right and she decided well playing yeah. my game is probably not the best way to get this done and change the tactics that's a great example yeah sticks up there flatten that one out wide uh, that's a great Bennett example Montgomery. yeah because that, she even said afterward that she felt uncomfortable she was like that's not the style i play but she had to learn to be a little bit more patient in certain moments Montgomery, although maybe, Jill, you tell me, she hesitated a little Juice. bit too long getting up for that short ball? A little bit, yeah. She let it drop too low. You can see the three or four ground strokes she hit right on the baseline. It was such good depth, and I think she was a little bit high. I think she could have gotten a little lower with her legs. When you get down lower, it just helps with the balance. It helps you get up to the ball better. 
who's Advantage become a little bit of her own worst enemy here, putting herself in good positions only to falter when she actually goes for the kill shot. Here comes another break point for Dmitra. Already 10 unforced errors for Robin Montgomery. She's been in pressure situations before. I remember vividly calling her deciding doubles match of the Junior Fed Cup in 2019. She was just 15 years old and handled it magnificently. Helping secure the ultimate winning point to win the Junior Fed Cup title. That's amazing. And sometimes I feel like that's the hardest thing to teach a lot of the times is be, be able to get your mindset in the right place for you to handle those big moments, for you to be able to handle those nerves. Ah! Montgomery handling her own nerves, coming up big, getting out of trouble, and holding for a 3-2 lead in the first. Montgomery leads three games to two. The court 12 here for the Junior Girls Singles Championship match. This is Christina Dmitruk of Belarus. The sixth seed serving to the seventh seed, Robin Montgomery of the United States. I've got to imagine that Robin has to have some supporters here from the DC area to make that four and a half hour drive up. From the nation's capital to New York City. Love 15. Coach Ali Agnamba for a long time. Started playing at five years old at the Junior Tennis Champion Center in Maryland. Oh. Oh, that's well done. Montgomery hasn't had a ton to look at second serves. At that time, did a good job of when she got one, really taking care of business, got that off the court right away. Well, after saving break points, Robin Montgomery oh, now 40. has three of her own to try to get to 4-2 here in the first. from Montgomery just hanging in there and when she got an opening boy she took it yeah she changed that point around well I mean Montgomery on that last ball just didn't get enough depth on that high ball she was trying to change the pace but Dimitruk did a good job of getting a lot of pace on that took that one early wow. yeah. <laughs> took that one early and we have our first break of the match and it goes to the American Robin Montgomery Montgomery it's a leads smack on the four line. games to two. And it's four First two. Set. Montgomery has an opportunity today to put her name along the likes of Jennifer Capriotti and Lindsay Davenport. Players who not only won the girls singles title, but also the doubles title in the same year at the US Open. 
Capriati did it back in 1989. Lindsay Davenport, a champion here two times over in 1992. And straight over after those wins, those two and young ladies. Yes. <laughs> certainly made their mark, Hall of Famers both. She's in good company if she can come out with two titles today. So far, so good for in the singles final. She's starting to find the range on the backhand. Yeah, I, I, I just got to say, she looks a little bit more confident to me on that backhand side. Just the way she approaches the ball, the way she sets up, gets in really good position. Struggle with that low one, a little bit on the forehand side, just especially because these courts, the ball doesn't bounce that high off of a flatter shot, and she just tries to lift up on it too much. We've seen a couple unforced errors on that low ball from Montgomery. Third ace of the match for Montgomery. Consolidates the break and takes a 5 2 lead in the first. Montgomery leads five games to two. New balls. Patrick serving with new balls now, trying to stay in the first set. Left and as you notice, they play the lets in junior tennis and in college tennis for that matter. Yep. That's just a whole never, another level of concentration. <laughs> but they've gotten used to it. I can see maybe transitioning to the tour, you might start running after the ball, <laughs> after the <laughs> left court. Everyone looking at you like you're crazy as you're chasing down a red yeah, well, there's actually been a lot of debate about oh, whether sorry. they should change that. I mean, I know there's a lot of people that feel like they should play let courts on the pro tour because you you play let courts during the point. Mm -hmm. So there's been a lot of debate on if you, they should just throw that in on the serve as well. I can't tell you how many times I've seen a let called on an ace. So many times where players oh, would right. have had an yeah. ace. And Montgomery oh. doing the damage with her backhand. But that time, Bill, she did really well getting to that low oh, forty. Yeah, it was a really good adjustment, especially on the feet. That, But this was, you see how well she gets up to that ball, and she gets it more on the rise. She doesn't let it drop too low. Oh. Three set points. One. 15, 40. Two more available to Robin Montgomery to take the first set. Things Six out in the first. The American, a set away from the junior girls' title at the U.S. Open. Second set. Oh, we go. Go. Set two of the girls' singles championship match. Love 15. A little bit of uh, that getting cool. 
plaguing Montgomery here as we resume play after a little bit of a lengthy delay in between sets. So quick on Love's first error and then a double fall. I said how important it was for her to get up off the chair. Did a good job of that. Probably could have maybe moved a little. Just moved her body a little bit while she was standing at the back of the court. Oh, that was a nice deep ball. Skidding off the baseline. Love 40. Just an ideal start for Christina Dimitrov, who's down a set to Robin Montgomery. Three break points here in the opening game of set number two. the break to open up the second set for Christina Dimitruk of Belarus. It was Rob Montgomery of the United States who took the first set, 6-2. It hasn't been a major junior girls champion since the 2018 season when Coco Goff won Roland Garros and then Claire Liu won Wimbledon that summer. Coco and Robin are contemporaries and, and friends. I know Robin looks to Coco for inspiration for all the success that she's had on the WTA tour. Yeah, well, you were talking about how Robin's been so successful at the Junior Fed Cup. Well, she got a chance to be a part of the Billie Jean King Cup team back in February in 2020. And Coco Goff was one of the pros that was on that team along with Serena Williams and Kenan and Ali Risk and Bethany Maddox Sands. So she said that was such an amazing experience to be able to be a part of that. A lot of they take three or four juniors to go and just be hitting partners, practice with each other, be around the pro players. Such a good experience. And there again is the backhand return that you could rightfully make an argument that won Montgomery the first set. Yes. Well, she, she, look how far inside the baseline she is. I mean, she does a good job on that second serve of not staying too far back. She's looking to take the ball early and uh, apply that pressure right from the start. It's another second serve opportunity here. Certainly, I, even though she made that mistake there, I think she needs to continue to try and be aggressive on that. A short ball, so she tried to hit and come in, but almost rushed herself. Tried to come in a little bit too quickly. It's so important to make sure you take your time, hit that shot first, then make the move forward. Well, that time, Dimitra got Montgomery fully stretched on the back end to where Montgomery couldn't do any damage off the return. Here's a point for two love. That's just good placement on that forehand from Montgomery. Cheers. Such good depth right into the corner. qualifying this year at the U.S. Open, losing in the first round. She got a wild card into the main draw last summer and fell to uh, – 
And there's the whole time which up for two love. It was Yulia Putin Seva who took out Montgomery last Richard summer. Leads two in games the first round of the main draw Second of the U.S. Set. Open. Here, Christina Dimitruk has jumped out to an early lead in set two. Now she's great, regrouped nicely. Dimitruk came out and played a pretty solid return game and then backed it up. When she gets that first serve in, Montgomery's been struggling with the pace of her serve. So far, 107 long. miles an hour. Montgomery's been up to 113 miles an hour on that first serve. Montgomery also gets a lot of action on that ball. You can see the curve of it. <laughs> Good turnaround from Montgomery. Who had a slow start to this second set. Looks to have gotten back sort of on form here. You got that aggressive playback in these first couple points, so it was good to see, yeah, because I think that first service game coming out after Dimitruk lost that first set. Montgomery just did have the best service game to start off the second. Montgomery's on. She can just have her way. <laughs> right? Yeah. Set holds, still trails 2-1, but up a set to love on court 12. Two games to one, second set. Set number two continues with Christina Dimitruk of Belarus up a break, serving up 2-1 in the second to Robin Montgomery of the United States. Too far back there, Montgomery. Long. I think it's so important to have, I mean, so many of these women move so well side to side, and that can be a natural movement that tennis players oh. have, but you also need to work on that up and back movement too. If you get pushed back, reset, come back up into the baseline, and I think Montgomery just got caught, stuck a little bit far back. That's better. I like that she takes that ball so early on the second serve, it's continually, continuing to apply pressure to Dimitruk. Yeah, it's, for Dimitruk, it's a good deal that she's serving at 70% right now on first serve for this set. Just watch out if that number starts to drop a little Yeah, it was a great volley, by the way. It good, really was. 30 touch volley. Worth noting again that Dimitruk won the Wimbledon girls junior doubles title earlier this summer. Yeah, so it's comfortable at the net. It's got 40, a little bit tangled, 15. just need extra space away from that ball. Also, if you're out of position, you definitely try and want to get more height on that ball if you don't quite feel like you're in the right position. And again moving forward, but couldn't quite handle the pace of that Montgomery pass. 40, 30. Face too far open and it sails long, so this game continues. It's 40 30. It's almost like she read that serve very well. She was so ready and committed to that return. Oh, lucky break there Dimitri. for Dimitruk. 
again, we play Let's, and even if they dribble over for an ace, that's an ace for Dimitruk, her first of the set, third of the match. Counts just the same. And holds for 3-1. Three one. One. Second set. Yeah, and the tournament's about to come to a close at the end of the weekend, but that doesn't mean you can't get the stuff at usopenshop.org. That's the official shop for the 2021 US Open. The merchandise, the, the commemorative glasses, the shot glasses, keychains, everything you can think of. It's all at usopenshop.org. Seems like Montgomery's top end is higher than Dimitruk. She doesn't hit it all the time, but when she's when she's free flowing, Montgomery can really do some damage, and they're both struggling percentage wise off the second serve, as we've been talking about. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like Dimitrov is low. capable of bringing that power, but in this particular match, I just feel like Montgomery is more willing to kind of go after it a little bit more. Because we saw the pace there on that on that backhand from Dimitrov, but I feel like she could is not taking as much risk right now. Montgomery is more willing to step up and go after it a little bit more. by Montgomery's plus nine in the winner's category. Oh. That was a nice touch from Dimitra. Probably an ill-advised reply from Montgomery. Well, that's a great point. I think Montgomery felt like she was in control that whole point, and then Dimitra just came up with that nice short angle slice on the backhand. American holds for 2-3 in the second. Leads Montgomery took the to first 6-2. Second set. Dimitrik up a break here in the second. Dimitruk, change it up a little bit, try and hit some of those second serves to Montgomery's forehand side just to start the point because Montgomery very comfortable flattening that backhand out. That's better. Oh. Montgomery did everything but the put away in that point. Yeah, and that'll be disappointing, but at, at this stage, you got to think, okay, I played the point correctly. I set it up exactly how I wanted to. Maybe just needed a little bit more footwork back to that overhead. It was a bit tricky because it was behind her. for Montgomery. And the truck was just one step ahead of her on each stroke in this point. That's a pretty good low volley from Dimitruk there. The Montgomery stab. And 
that time Montgomery wasn't able to find the range 30. on the backhand return. It was better depth on that second serve from Dimitruk. And a nice first Dimitruk. serve into that Montgomery forehand from Dimitruk. Dimitruk leads four she holds for 4-2 two. Two in the second. Second set. win the singles title here at the U.S. Open, Amanda Anisimova. Yeah. That was in 2017. 15 love. The ball lands long off the Dimitra racket for 15 love. From Montgomery, but she's used most consistently today. The backhand. Yeah, that's the one you can't allow yourself to sort of hit up on that and let that sit up there for her backhand side. Sometimes when she's 40, in aggressive 50. position, she tries so much to flatten that forehand out. And I think her topspin forehand is so effective that she can continue to use that one even when she's inside the court. Okay, Montgomery. A heavy forehand, and that's a heavy first serve from Montgomery. If she holds Dimitri leads for three four folds games to three. set number two. Second set. The girls singles first championship set Montgomery. match. Robin Montgomery of the United States in the near court took the first set. Christina Dimitrik up a break in the second for 12. Love 15. She's really hitting deep and hard at the moment. You could just see her getting ready for the re return at the baseline. Just looked really ready, very alert. Got aggressive. That was a really well played aggressive point. That's a good serve. 15 40. That flat out wide from Dimitrak is something I think is a good play for her, especially if not as much spin being able to flat hard so it goes fast to the Montgomery forehand. That is a Game heavy left-handed forehand from Robin Montgomery to get the break back in the second. 
And we are all knotted up at four, four all. Four games all, second set. And this is a big weekend here at the Billie Jean King USTA National Tennis Center. Stay connected to the US Open on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. You can join the conversation with the hashtag US Open. And this is the weekend to do that with Championship Saturday and Championship Sunday. Depth from Dimitruk back to back on those ground strokes. Really could see how far she was able to push Montgomery behind the baseline. A big difference there between the two players on forced errors. Pretty much mirrors 15, the winners oh. too. Montgomery's pretty much two to one over Dimitruk in both winners and unforced errors. She's the one who's been dictating a lot of this. Here comes the wind, by the way. Five. First time I saw either player have to really push her over the face. I know. Montgomery did a good job dealing with it. Cracked a big first serve. her experience in those pressure situations that we've talked about during this match. Robbins had success in really high stress situations. Here's another one for all 40-15. like she's capable of really bringing the pace and that time got way more aggressive and that point took a little bit more risk. Great acceleration through that last forehand. direction on that one was a bit surprising because that was a pretty deep ball from Dimitruk. She hits that backhand cross so well that I thought she would probably stick to the little bit more high percentage shot there. She also hits it so flat that it was going to be tough to bring it down into the court. It sailed long. Second serve here. Oh. A double. Montgomery uh, really raising her level. Gotten a little bit of the yips here at four all. Fourth double fall to the match, second to the set, and it's a break point for Dimitruk to get the break right back. Not easy to create that angle from so far back to from the center of the court. Didn't have a ton of pace to work with and still created a tremendous amount of velocity off that backhand. for 5-4 again. Oh, it was a great angle there. You can see how much height she got over the net. I think that's her go-to forehand. I like that she's starting to just create more spin more consistently on the forehand side. Yeah. And it 
it's the backhand that forces the forehand error. And Robin Montgomery roars to a 5-2 lead in the second. A game away from the title in New York. Second set and by one set to love. The other, one of the other things I think tennis teaches you, and I think it's Robin showing that, is accountability. When you mm. make a mistake, it's up to you to fix it. Yeah. And when Robin's level has dipped, she's done an amazing job rebounding and playing better on the next point. Yeah, and that's a great point. Yeah. What is it taking that responsibility? And, and you, you, you see it over and over again. Some people can get down on themselves, but you can't do anything. It's about getting ready for that next ball right away, that next point. Montgomery's now three points away from the junior girls' singles title. serve right now. That uh, was a big first serve that Dimitri needs. She needs more of those. Championship point now for Robin Montgomery of the United States. She had the opening, just got a 30, little bit tentative 40. on that last forehand. It's actually really good deep forehand cross. Not a bad shot to go for. It just wasn't super confident changing direction. Still championship point. Montgomery of Washington, D.C. is your 2021 U.S. Open Junior Girls Singles Champion. Big hugs for the friends and family. all around and well-deserved. 